Hey everyone. Uh, this week I had one of my new teams go through their first ever uh, showcase, which for those of you who don't know what a showcase is, uh, it's this idea of, this team called it show and tell, but it's this idea of, uh, I guess, like a bit of a progress update on a project. Uh, it's It comes from the Agile software delivery lexicon. Um, and for those of you who do know what a showcase is, um, I think you'll appreciate that it was really nice to go back and watch a team do that for the first time and watch them sort of work all of those things out around and, and just reflect on on like what what it is that we actually do with this uh, ritual or this uh, this rhythm that we build on projects. And so if you haven't been in a showcase before, uh, what what happens is that uh, when you when you go to implement these agile software delivery techniques, there's a whole series of, uh, we'd call them rituals or, or um, rhythms that go along with running a project in this new way. And showcase is one of them. So this idea of showcase is that we get in a room every two weeks and uh, at its core, we demonstrate working software. And so often what happens is the first time you run it, um, a team will get into the room and, and they'll sort of they'll build a slide pack um, and they'll talk a lot about a, a lot of things, and um, and it can be really hard initially to get over that hurdle of actually showing software. I think there's a lot of fear that goes with showing something that's unfinished. There's a lot of um, cultural stuff that you've got to get through because you know, as executives or leaders going into that conversation, we're not used to seeing something before it's finished, right? We, we sort of see stuff, we get reports, and then we see something when it's done. Uh, and so there can be a lot of fear for teams opening up and showing uh, what they're working on whilst it's still in progress. You know, those all those little inner perfectionists come out. And so, so at its core, um, the, one of the first things you do is you build safety around. This is a working environment, learning environment, um, and and you know, building that conversation, that safe space for a conversation. And often the focus is on demonstrate working software, demonstrate working software. So don't give me the slide packs. Don't give me your status reports and your risk updates. And just show me working software because through that show and tell of the software that we're working on and that we're building, you can get an appreciation of those other factors. And you can have conversation about risk and budget and all of those things, but do it through the vehicle of show working software. And so anyway, <clears throat> excuse me, this team had... Um, this team had had their first showcase this week, and um, and so we've been talking about it going into into, into the week around what they were going to present, what it was going to look like, and uh, I could tell that they were a little bit hesitant to go through, and, and they were a little hesitant about what to show. Uh, you know, this team spent uh, a lot of time themselves coming up to speed with the ideas and the concepts around these projects, and the, at first they felt like there was just this huge mountain of stuff that they had to re-educate everybody on and, and kind of bring into that conversation. And we have to tell that entire story of everything that we've learned that's got us to that point before we can even show the thing. And then, you know, the thing itself is made up of five or six different components. And so we have to show all of the components of all of the things. And, and they were they were in that place of, of a little bit of overwhelm. And we, we stripped it right back. We had some great conversations. And they, in the end, they chose to demonstrate like one piece of a bigger whole, which was cool. And they chose to uh, do the story about how they got there more as a headline rather than going deep onto the customer demand capture that they'd done, the research that they'd done, why that had meant that they chose the path that they chose, why they were now in a position where they were looking at this thing rather than another thing. So they skipped all of that. They kept at the headline and then they showed one piece of software, uh, which was which was awesome. It was, a, it was a really great outcome. It went really well. They had some great learnings around, oh, when we actually get everybody in a room and um, they start talking, People aren't worried that this particular thing is for another group in another area. They're actually really curious about that. And, oh, wow, isn't this a really cool forum to start to bring together a wider team that's not necessarily focused on their specific piece of what they do, um, but actually gaining an understanding of a bit more context of what's going on in the organization. So there were some great learnings there. Um, but one of the things that we did weave in this, um, this week, which uh, I hadn't done before, but... I think I'll be doing it more frequently from here on in, is that we weaved in this concept of just selling the one thing. So uh, this this idea of not trying to show everything and not trying to not trying to show all of the depth and the richness, but like what's the one thing 
the, what's that one important message that we're trying to get across. Uh, and we, we wrap that up in this idea of we're in the middle of a transformational change program. We're going to have to get people on board. There's going to be resistance. So whilst we're going to focus on one thing, how about if we actually make that one thing uh, something around some of the beliefs that people are carrying about the way that we do work, the way that we should do work, uh, the way that we're going to continue to do work, not wanting to change, all of those things that can build resistance in our team. How about if we actually targeted a couple of those beliefs or those attitudes or those behaviors through these showcases and, and, and this time let's just pick one and let's show something and show it in a way that's actually starting to undo some of that belief pattern so that whilst we are demonstrating working software, whilst we are having a conversation about the work that we're producing rather than how we're tracking, well, that's, that's all great, but like actually let's put this extra layer in around we can use this as a deliberate vehicle for change and breaking down resistance in the organization because we can start to undo some of those beliefs that we know to be false um, and, and start to undo some of that thinking that we know is going to trip us up further down the path. And so that was exactly what this team did. And it was really, really cool. You, you couldn't have scripted it, but it was really great to see uh, what a couple of the audience actually pipe up and say, hey, we're feeling heard, we're feeling seen, you know, these people get us. Uh, and, and, and that all just sort of came through really naturally, which was awesome. So if you're going into your first showcase, <laughs> it, it's an awesome experience. Um, and I would encourage you to absolutely do those things around creating a safe space for conversation, opening up a forum for conversation where you can have that back and forth with your team, where other people in a wider team can actually have some input in what's going on. Um, absolutely always push for working software. You know, this isn't a project update. This is something entirely different. We don't do those project traffic like reports in a one hour meeting every two weeks that's not a showcase show and tell is just that it's show first and tell and so absolutely encourage the safe conversation encourage the environment where your teams are actually demonstrating what they're doing help to break down some of that perfectionism that they are they are feeling and that they are carrying that burden of within themselves within that team and make sure that you, at the same time you're starting to weave in this idea of what are what are the things that are going to that are going to hold us back? What are those things that people are people have in our organisation that are uh, they're they're going to be hurdles to our success? It's going to start to build that change resistance, and and actually start weaving that thread in as well. And so as you're preparing as as your team's preparing those showcases and as you're going through that whole experience, be thinking about it on a number of levels. Be thinking about the content. So the content being demonstrate working software. What does that look like? Think about where you're trying to get take them from and get them to, which is about undoing that perfectionism in, in your teams. And, and then also think about what's that bigger picture that we're looking for. Well, actually, this is an opportunity for us to start to bring people on a journey, undo some of those false beliefs patterns that we have in place and start to work on the thinking and the cultural change at the same time as we're doing all of that. And if you do it well, um, your teams will be able to do it by just showing one thing, just focusing on the one thing, um, and yeah, I think you'll get a really good conversation out of it. So that was my quick hack for showcase this week. I hope wherever you are in the world, you're having an awesome, awesome day. Please drop me a comment below. Let me know if you've done something similar to this uh, in your own showcases, in your own show and tells in the past. I would love to hear from you. And uh, thank you very much. Have an awesome day. We will see you again next week.